Hi, this is just a short video to show you how you can improve uh, these cases you buy on eBay or other places in order to put GoPros and SJ cams. This is an SJ cam. SJ cam is basically a cheaper copy of a GoPro, basically. Anyway, you can buy these cases. Um, I think this large one I got here was about £8 on eBay. And they come with this foam insert. It's just really soft grey foam like this. And you pull out the different sections of foam. This all comes like, it looks like one solid lump. You pull out these sections to leave you with holes. And then that goes inside the case here. And the problem is, once you put your accessories inside it, whatever you've got in there ends up slipping underneath. Um, so say you put that there. Let's just move this. So you put that there it ends up slipping underneath the foam and all your bits and pieces are all over the place it doesn't hold things in place so what I've done is I've got this double-sided sticky tape here the red is just um, like a protective layer in between uh, the sticky tape and I've stuck it all around the outside as you can see I've done it all the way around the outside of this and then I put a couple of bits on the bottom there and there Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down into the case right now. Just give me a second. And hopefully, this will stop the foam moving around all over the place. That sticky tape should do the job, I would have thought. So all I can think of to um, improve these cases people who make these cases should have thought of that themselves. Okay, so I've very quickly gone and stuck that down. So hopefully that will stop this main piece of foam from keep moving around. And therefore, hopefully it will stop all of my GoPro and SJ cam parts from sliding underneath, which is really, really, really annoying. Okay, so whichever way that's supposed to go, there you go, that gives you an idea, so your SG cam goes in like that, you've got this spare flimsy wallet bit here to hold other stuff like um, charger cables, and I keep these, these don't come with, these plastic cases had uh, AA batteries in, but I use these to put empty uh, SD cards in, and things like that, and so you can put your accessories either in the case here, in, in this folder here, or you can put stuff in there, like so. You can fit two um, cameras. I use one case for two sometimes. You can put one like that, and then you can put the, the spare foam bit in there if you want. But anyway, the whole point of this is to show you use double sided sellotape to stick the foam to the sides to stop it from all moving around and hopefully stop all your uh, SG cam and GoPro pieces from sliding underneath so much. I should think this will do the job a lot better like this. Okay, and then you've also you can also zip it. But the thing is, when when you come back from a car journey and you open your case, in the past you'd end up with all your bits and pieces right underneath all the foam. Everything was just moved out of place. It was a complete mess. So I would think this should do the job. I'll just close the case so you can see what they look like. I mean, they're they're just plain black material. They're very light got a decent zip on the outside so you can close it obviously it's a, I don't think there's, no, there's no make on it like I said this size of case is I don't know something like about eight pounds on eBay you can get much smaller ones that are like the size of um, almost like a sat nav case to hold just the GoPro and they're about four pounds so eight or nine pounds for something this size is uh, I think pretty reasonable but like I said, you, you really need to improve it. And I used this double-sided tape. This roll here cost me about 25 quid for... I can't even remember. It's either 50 metres of tape or 25 metres. But it's quite expensive. Just buy yourself some double-sided sticky tape and that should do the job. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.